Hello, I'm Elian St. Hilaire, and in this video, we're going to take a look at setting up Mesh Central with an SMTP email server, how to verify the email server works, how to do account verification, and also two-factor authentication. One of the important features of Mesh Central is really enabled when you set up a SMTP server for Mesh Central to be able to send uh, email emails to uh, account owners. And so that can be really practical for notifying computers are connected and uh, disconnected to do two-factor authentication, to do um, a whole bunch of email stuff where you need to notify the users. So we're going to take a look in this video at how we do that. So I'm going to start with my trusty Mesh Central server here. This is the one on my developer computer. And so it's on just running on on uh, my own computer right here uh, locally and I have a bunch of computers connected so I can click on a computer and connect the desktop and that works so everything works perfectly here. Now I already have the email server set up for this uh, Mesh Central server. So when you run it, it will, if you run it manually, of course, you know, just typing node Mesh Central, then you'll see these messages and you'll see SMTP email server, the a server you got configured is working expected. And so what happens here is that the SMTP email client inside Mesh Central on start will just verify that it can properly connect to that server and everything is fine. So how do you configure this? Well, you go in the uh, config.json of inside Mesh Central data, and usually you'll have a lot of settings inside the settings sections. You'll have a lot of other settings in the domain section of your configuration. But at the root level, you can add SMTP and the, uh, the email server uh, of your choosing. Now, Mesh Central also supports a service called SendGrid. If you do that, then you should use either SMTP or SendGrid. You don't do both. And SendGrid, uh, you, you put your uh, email address, you put your API key from the service, and the emails are sent to the service using HTTP. So that's a, a simpler and uh, easier protocol uh, for sending emails to that service. But most people will not be using this. They'll be using SMTP. And if you don't have an SMTP server, what I recommend you do is just uh, set up a free account on Gmail. So you just go and create a, 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 you know, a random name on Gmail and use that as your uh, from address and as your username to log into the SMTP server. Put your password for that Gmail account right there. It's going to be, in, in the case of uh, Gmail, it's going to be smtp.gmail.com and the port is 460 five in the case of Gmail. Now for other SMTP servers, make sure to just set up uh, whatever you know your SMTP server uh, configuration looks like. So uh, the other thing is there's a, this TLS true value. If you set TLS to true, then the SMTP client will uh, connect to that port using TLS. Uh, I'm sorry, if you set TLS to true, then as soon as the SMTP client in Mesh Central connects to the server, the mail server, it will connect using TLS right away. If you set this to false or you don't set it, then what will usually happen is that it will connect without TLS and then upgrade to TLS. So it doesn't, if you set this to false, it doesn't mean that you're not using TLS. It's just that you're starting, uh, your, your starting communication is without TLS, and then it will usually upgrade to TLS. But if you set true here, then your TLS right away. So whatever uh, setting here, you should be secure but either way, but you, you should basically um, use whatever setting your uh, email server requires. There's another setting here, verify email. This is because Mesh Central uh, you know, when you set the from here, the from email address, it will take a look at the, the domain 
uh, name and try to resolve it for an MX record, basically a mail server record. And uh, if that doesn't work, then it will throw an error. It will say, wait, this, this email address doesn't seem to be valid. So, uh, so most of the time, this, the default is true here. So most of the time, the, you know, the email uh, address that you put in the from field will verify OK. If it doesn't, because you have some proprietary domain name and you don't have a mail server uh, set up on it or so on, then, um, then what you can do is just set verify email to false. But that should be unusual. OK. So once you got this set up, you save that as your config.json, and then you run Mesh Central. And what I, you, what I you know, recommend you do is you can run it manually here uh, in, instead of as a background service. And then, of course, you'll see the email server is working expected. If you don't see this, then there's a problem. Obviously, go ahead and, and, uh, and fix it. OK, now let's, the first thing you want to do once you've got that uh, set up is you want to test to make sure everything's fine. And so I have my Gmail account right here with a bunch of emails I've previously received. And one of the first ways you can test your SMTP server is you go to the, you log in as administrator on your own server. You go to my server, you click to the console tab, and there's a command. If you type help, there's a whole bunch of commands here, but there's one called email. So you just type email, for example, and it will say email and then the target, the subject name, and the message. So I can type email, ilianst at gmail.com. Uh, my title, I'll say, um, I'll, just, I'll just say title, um, and then um, actually I'll say test number one, and then as the subject, this is a test number one, okay? And you hit enter. And then if everything goes well, it will say done here. And you'll see uh, in Gmail, the, the email is received with test one as the title and uh, the uh, subject name right here. Now, another thing you can do is later on, if you have user accounts that have the email address already set up, uh, once you've you know, users has come in and validated their email addresses. You can go in my users, click on a user, and there's going to be an email button. And you can click on the email button for that user. Obviously, that's the email address that they have. So I'm going to click on it and say um, test two. And this is a test number two. I'm going to come back here to my uh, Gmail, click OK. It will say email sent. And in a second here, test number two, you just got that email received. So that's a really good indication that your SMTP server is working. And of course, um, just as I showed you here, anytime you want, you can go in my users, click on email and send a little note, and the server will send a note uh, to that user. OK, so that's good. Now let's talk about account uh, verification of emails. Now, if you go into my account, uh, there is a change email address. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to remove my address completely. Control X. Actually, I can't do that. So I'm just going to um, just put an invalid email here. And so now it's asking me for verification. I'm going to change my email address again, put a valid email address, say OK. And now, as soon as I put that email, it's going to send uh, when you set an email address, it's going to send an, a verification email. And uh, then you can click on it and click on the link. But before I do that, anytime you want, you can also click verify email and click OK, and then it will resend the verification link. Or you can click on verify here the, on the footer, click OK, and that will resend that email. Now, once you get the email here, I'm going to right click on it and say open in a different tab just for my own testing. But as soon as I open it in a different tab, you can see here that email has now been verified. OK? So this is great. And by the way, uh, most of the time, you, the server will mandate that, the, that an email address be set by the users and be verified before the user can use the website. So that's really nice because 
And the reason you want to do that is because if they lose the password, like they, they forget their password and have to do a password recovery, then uh, it's much better. Otherwise, they have to bug you as administrator to you know, have uh, you reset their account or so on. So it's, it's kind of essential that they set up an email right away. Okay, so now we have the email verification um, and, and that, that's good. The other thing I want to show is the, uh, the account and account security. Uh, and I added on, but uh, you can click on manage email authentication and you can enable uh, two factor authentication for, uh, using email. So you click that. And of course, I have backup codes here, so I can use those backup codes also. But I, I've set up uh, email authentication to FA. So I'm going to log out and I'm going to try to log back in. Now it's asking me for a token. And one of the options I have, if you have SMS, if you have other options here, you'll, you'll see them. But here I have email as an option. So I can type one of my backup codes or I can click on email, say OK. And in a few seconds here, I should get an email with my token. There it goes. Then I can cut, copy, paste the token, say login. And there we go. So I got two factor authentication done through email. And the last uh, feature I want to show is you can opt to receive notifications if, uh, if a specific de device goes up or down, like if, if you lose connectivity with the device or so on. So I'm going to test this. What you can do is you can go in the device group, select notifications, and if you have an SMTP server set up on, on the server, then you'll see this, this second section on the bottom. If you don't have SMTP server set up, you'll only see the top part. So basically for this device group, you can opt to get no email notifications uh, every time a device connects or disconnects, or I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna go inside a specific device. For example, I am going to yeah, I'm going to go into services and turn on my mesh agent here. There it goes. And then in a few seconds, I should see central connect. Let's see if that happens. Should come any time now. So let's, oh, there it goes. It just, it just popped up. There it goes, right there. So, so my own machine just popped up. And here I can go in notifications. And actually, I, I had it on already, but... Um, but you can, you can opt to have email notification for a specific device. So here I clicked on this specific device, click notification, and I can say I want devices to, you know, when that device connects or disconnects, I want to be notified uh, that this happened by email. Okay, so when you set notifications like this for connect and disconnect, now what I'm going to do is, uh, actually I'm not sure... If I cause a, a if I cause a disconnect, then it should email me. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go into my server's console, and I'm going to show you a, a trick I have. This is, is for developers, but there is something called email notification commands. And so right now it says there's no email notifications uh, pending. And so what I'm, I can do is go to, uh, so now central is offline. I'll turn it back on. There you go. St start it back on. And then it will pop up. And then I go back into the console, type email notification. And it says admin us uh, user admin, which is me, uh, currently has in, it, in the pending queue of notifications, it has this computer in, in the group lab computers, the com computer central, and it says connected one, disconnect zero. So what it's saying here is that he, they, the server queued up a, an event for uh, this computer you know, ha has connected. And so if I wait here five minutes, what will happen is that that event will get sent out. Now. As soon as there's an event for a user, uh, you know, a notification that a device is connected or disconnected, the server will, will start a timer, and then within the next five minutes, any other events will be accumulated. Once that's done, then the email is sent. So, uh, so here, if I wait a little bit more, 
the, then uh, you'll receive it. Now, I, I did a trick here for the purpose of this video. I changed the time to one minute. So you'll see here that I got a no device notification, um, a device connected in lab computers, the device was, uh, was central, and what connected is the agent. Uh, it's possible that you, you can see AMT connect, you can see um, MQTT connect, depending on what things you, uh, are, you support for a connection and disconnection. But in any case, here I can see the, the connected device. Now, and then if you click email notification, you can see there's nothing in the pending queue now. So uh, this is great because at the most, you will get one message every five minutes for a, a given user, but no more than that. And that message will have a compilation of what connected and disconnected during that time. Um, now, the computer is currently connected. The central computer is connected. And you notice that I, I opted to notify for connect and disconnect. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, I'm going to go into the console again, and I'm going to disconnect this device, stop. So now if I go email notification, you see there's one pending disconnect for this computer. Now what I'm going to do is immediately reconnect it. And once it reconnects, if I go and do email notification, it goes back to none. And the reason is that if a computer disconnects and within the five minute window, it reconnects, it cancels out the notification for that, for, for that computer. And so, uh, and so uh, just be aware that if a computer reboots, you may not get a notification, you know, an email that the computer went down because it needs to go down and then within the five minute window of, of emails, it can't, you know, it, if it doesn't reconnect, then the, the message is not, um, is not canceled and the message is sent. Okay, I hope that was clear. Uh, so basically, this is just a quick recap of uh, uh, connecting Mesh Central to an SMTP server. You can do it on, on a, you know, a Gmail account, so it's totally free. I totally encourage people to do that. Super useful, especially when you're talking about uh, password recovery, two-factor authentication. Uh, those are super crazy useful, but also device uh, you know, up and down notification, or if you just want to click on my user and click an email and send an email uh, to a user through the Mesh Central portal, you can all do that once you got this uh, email server set up. Hopefully you like that. Thank you very much. Have a great day.